This morning, California's Reparations Task Force, the first of its kind in the nation, is voted to send recommendations for reparations to state lawmakers, saying it hopes to right the wrongs of slavery as well as land, housing, and health discrimination. My great-grandfather was a sharecropper who had 17 children and worked from sunup to sundown and died with absolutely nothing. The task force is recommending payments of up to $1.2 million for any African American over 70 that can trace their ancestry to enslaved people, compensating them for what it describes as harm to their health, mass incarceration, over policing, and housing discrimination. Land was stolen from many, as in my husband's case. My husband has the deeds to these properties, that state. This land belongs to my descendants forever and ever. Several descendants told their stories in a public forum. Task Force member Joven Scott Lewis insists reparations are not payouts. We are returning monies taken, returning monies stolen. Black conservatives caution reparations are a schemes to pick up votes, guarantee heaven then provide zilch. This means Biden give empty promises that will not put food on our tables. This is a strategy to gain votes. Conservatives are informing black Americans not to trust Democrats given empty assurances of compensations, but that they are being scammed in a distrustful enticement and twist for votes. I would tell every black American who trusts that the Democrats will come up with a program that will resolve all their troubles, and that cash will answer all of their concerns, to excavate deeply into the history, former Princeton professor, Dr. Carol Swain, explained to Fox News Digital. Just observe the group of people who are constructing those assurances. Have they fulfilled their promises in the past? Why do you listen and trust them currently? The increasing petition for reparation to compensate for the evils of slavery is being spearheaded by politicians at the state and local level, with cities like Los Angeles, California, St. Louis, Missouri, Providence, Rhode Island, Asheville, North Carolina establishing directives to help generate reparations experimental programs. However, we should gather the facts that politics is about polytricks and is designed to trick the citizens to follow a certain course that is always favorable to their whims and caprices. It is always in their interest to deceive and deserve power and portion. Negative effects on African Americans, and second, to develop proposals for remedies for the atrocities of that harm through policy changes and potentially cash payments. Uh, thank you for this opportunity and the work you guys are doing. Those recommendations drafted at these Summarize public the forums that travel the state. Forum. We sat down with several members of the nine person task force to get a better understanding of the recommendations that will be voted on this weekend and delivered to lawmakers in July. But first, let's start with why reparations. Why now? You hear lots of folks say, well, California entered the union as a, a free state. Right. Why should California, why should Californians right. be on the hook for reparations? Right. So the idea that California has a role to play in this is, is actually very straightforward. And so when we think about lingering effects, we are thinking about things that... Please join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the McCad TV family. Please like and share McCad TV. We love you all. Please support McCad TV Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.